This season dedicated to the memory of Joseph and Bernard Gantz, brother and grandfather, forever with us on the hunt. Have you ever dreamt of doing something that would call for you to step outside your comfort zone? Do you have the courage inside to accept that challenge? As an outdoorsman, every time we embark on a new adventure, our character, our will, our determination, and our drive are challenged. Follow as we attempt to define ourselves as hunters, outdoorsmen, and friends on this epic adventure. The harvest, that's the bonus. If it were always that easy, there would be no challenge, there would be no drive, there would be no will to get up and do it again. We are wild out hunting. Are you? This segment brought to you by De Jesus Family Chiropractic, improving lives with chiropractic. Well, I think one of the things I wanted to do with starting a hunting show was just to kind of showcase the average day hunter. Uh, we've got five guys. Uh, we're all considered family and, you know, we're all good friends. Uh, we work hard. We have families. We work for a living. And we're just trying to showcase having fun out in the outdoors and we're not perfect, we're not professionals and that's what you're gonna show, you're gonna see and you're gonna get with wild bow hunting. That's who we are. We are nothing but the average day hunter going out, having fun and toting cameras along with us and trying to capture it all on film and share it with you. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be uh, like you're going to a movie. It's gonna be real and we're gonna make mistakes and we're gonna learn as we go through that. It's all about having fun and being wild about hunting, sharing it with our family, sharing it with our friends, and bringing it to you to share it with you. My name is Dennis Gans, and I'm, I'm the guy who created this whole thing. Uh, this is where it all started, was an idea that I had, honestly, 10 years ago, and just couldn't figure out how to get it going. I've surrounded myself with, with four really good people, uh, and I can't ask for more than that. We're all hardworking, family oriented guys. I have my brother who grew up hunting with me um, and that's David Gantz and you're gonna see him and what he does throughout the whole entire show and throughout our adventures. Um, I've got a good friend of mine who I work with uh, on the ambulance. Uh, I, I work on an ambulance, that's my full-time job and my, one of our other team members, Wally Boyle, he's our paramedic coordinator. We work for an ambulance service in the Hazleton area where we're all from. And uh, Wally's new to all of this. He just got back into hunting a couple of years ago and he's brought his daughter into it and we're having a blast and he's been a big help. Um, from there, we're also some first responders as well. We're, I'm a firefighter volunteer and I've got two other really good friends of mine who are firefighters who work for a career fire department. I have Kevin Tarapchak, who's a really good friend. He's the youngest member of the team, but he brings a lot of good energy to the team and we, we can't ask for more than that. Uh, Kevin's a really good hunter, and he's gotten a lot of really good deer over the years, uh, and one that you're gonna see in this season. Uh, probably the biggest deer that we all took between all of us this year uh, was taken by Kevin, and uh, it's a bruiser here for Pennsylvania. And our last team member is Jim Sharp, and Jim's a career firefighter with the city of Hazleton. And uh, I've known Jim for 20 some years, worked together with him also in the ambulance service. And uh, he's been nothing but a big help. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with Jim uh, in, in this season. One thing you'll see this season with us here at Wild Bow Hunting is stepping outside of our comfort zone. And that's kind of the big concept that we have is trying to pursue a big game species throughout each season and going somewhere where we've never been. You'll follow me on my travels as I plan to hunt in Ohio. I've never hunted Ohio. Um, I don't know what Ohio is about. I've heard a lot of good about it. There's big deer there, big bucks. Uh, so my goal is to spend nine, 10 days in Ohio and you're gonna see all the planning and preparation that goes into getting ready to go somewhere where you've never been before, that you don't have time to walk out your back door onto your private farm or uh, go down the road to the game lands and do the scouting. One of the aspects with the show that you're gonna get a chance to see is the training and the preparation that I put in 
to getting ready for this big, big trip to Ohio. Uh, what I'll do is I'll be doing a lot of weightlifting, cardiovascular, because I don't know what the terrain's gonna be like. Uh, you know, we're used to mountainous area here in Pennsylvania, a lot of ups and downs, big hills. Uh, Ohio, I don't think is as mountainous, but we're gonna find that out. But I wanna make sure I'm in the best shape that I can be, both physically and mentally, to get ready to go out there. Getting ready with shooting the bow and making sure that my gear and my equipment is all functioning properly. At the end of the day, it's all up to me to make the shot but I wanna make sure that it's in right condition and I'm tied it in and I'm dialed in and we'll check that again once we get to Ohio. But uh, that's what we're looking for. This season with Wild Bow Hunting, stepping outside that comfort zone, inspiring, persisting, and hopefully achieving. This segment brought to you by Deer Track Design. From custom decals to state-of-the-art printing, no order's too small. If you can dream it, we can print it. Okay, so this episode, what we're looking at is opening day of archery season here in Pennsylvania. And one of the things I had to do, we were calling for some rain for the opening morning. And all I had were tree stand sets down on the farm. So I went out Friday afternoon and took the ground blind out and set that up. And it was gonna be a quick setup. It wasn't gonna be brushed in. Um, nothing like you would normally do to have it get in there a couple weeks before I get the deer used to this. So this was just a, a run and gun type of a deal to protect us from the weather um, for a possible morning hunt, but not even sure if we were gonna get out in the morning. So I got out there that day, uh, checked trail cameras as I was going along, see what was moving through, figured out where I wanted that ground blind set up and set that up that night. It was raining the night we were doing that. Um, and then got in and got ready for the next morning's hunt. Okay, well, I got the uh, line all set up. I didn't want to spend a lot of time there. I got it tucked back in. I mean, it's new, so I didn't even worry about getting it brushed in too much because I didn't want to disturb too much of the area. So I have it back in behind to the one side of the uh, tree stand that we that we put there. So hopefully it'll work. That following morning, opening morning, I got up and it was pouring down rain. I mean, cats and dogs, and there was no way we were going to be able to get out there. Not even in the ground blind. There was no chance these deer were going to move and give us a chance at a shot right there. So made the call to wait until midday because they were calling for the weather to break and we'd probably be able to get out for the evening. And that was the idea and that was the goal and that's what we did. All right, honey, I'll see you later. All right, love you. Okay, love you. Doors locked. All right, here we go. Heading down the farm. Hopefully, get a little lucky tonight. We're gonna give it a go. Got a little bit of light sprinkle coming down right now, but it's not supposed to rain heavy at all tonight. So, we're gonna give it a shot and see Power what happens. Out. Connected. And up to the ground blind that I put out last night, and um, pray to the good Lord that he gives me good fortune tonight. We finally settled up in here. Just gotta get a couple more things squared away. Time from now on is what I've been 
seeing him on the camera. Camera set up on a tree, probably 10 yards. Caught some movement out to Saint in the same field just off to the left and noticed there was another, might have been a small buck, but a doe coming in. And that was the goal. Try and get a deer in the freezer and get some meat ready for our Ohio trip. We had another small buck come out. Got to watch him until dark. And uh, all in all, a great night and really enjoyed it. And went home thinking, you know, looking forward to the next time that we're going to be out, which was going to be Monday afternoon after work. This segment brought to you by Nightstar Munitions. Family owned and operated, located at 318 Yorktown Drive, Hazleton, Pennsylvania. All right, so it's Monday afternoon, second day of the season in PA, and I'm just getting out of work. All right, well, I'm in the truck. On my way down to the farm. It's actually 62 degrees right now, a little bit warmer than what I'd like, but. So we get down the farm and I get myself all sprayed down outside the truck uh, in my parents' driveway there. Well, I'm all dressed. Get the bow out. See you back at the stand. And take the long walk back, which really isn't all that long, but when you're carrying a lot of gear, it seems like it is and try and get back in there as quiet as we can. No deer were on the food plot, so that was good. We were able to sneak in, get everything up into the tree stand and get ourselves settled in. Okay, well, I made it to my stand. I'm up in here, I'm gonna settle in. I'm gonna spray down one more time because it got a little warm getting here. It wasn't too bad. We're tucked back in nice. Plenty of cover shade. So that's pretty good. Got acorns falling everywhere. Hopefully these deer move. Gotta keep our eyes open. We should be able to hear a little bit better here because we're not right up against the interstate like I was on Saturday, so fingers crossed. One thing I did was because it was so bright out, I wanted to put a little bit of face paint on and kind of bright, blacken myself down so I'm hid back in. We were set back off of the food plot, maybe about 10 yards.
really good tree, had a small little ravine right behind me. Uh, we call that the fox den area. I was getting hungry. I mean, hey, I hadn't had anything since lunchtime. So the goal was to try and sneak a snack in before any deer decided to show up. <laughs> and what happens? A deer shows up. This segment brought to you by Paul's Auto Center, providing emergency roadside assistance and towing 24 hours a day, seven days a week, serving the Hazleton area for over 30 years. All right, so we had that doe come out about quarter to six and she walked off and it kind of quieted down for a little bit. Um, probably about a half hour had gone by and I noticed a little bit of movement down to my right. And when I looked down, there was a deer coming, it happened to be a buck. Uh, looked like a five, six point buck kind of just coming in right up through the middle of the food plot. There were some more deer coming out, moving into the food plot. So we were starting to get a lot of action. Uh, none of the buck that I saw, there was, I think two more buck came out in, a small spike and maybe a, another four or six pointer came out, but nothing that I was gonna really look to arrow this early on in the season. But there were some pretty big doe that came out and we were looking to hopefully get one of those.
Scott cornering away. And now it's time to just reach out to the guys and let the team know that, hey, we got a deer down and we're going to need some help. I have my tracking team here. I got my brother, all wild team member, David Gantz, and his daughter, my niece, my godchild, Alon. I, I think I see the glow of my lighted knock over here. So we're going to cross this little ditch and sneak in here and see what we can find. Right there she is, big old doe laying down. Here she is, she's a big doe, and that's what I was hoping to start the season off with, was a big doe. Unfortunately, David and I have been checking our cameras back here and we haven't seen any big big shooter bucks that uh, he or I would fling an arrow at uh, early in the season. Lots of small ones and young young bucks, which is great for Brett and Teresa for their first, first buck, but uh, you know, we both got no tags and we got no problem putting meat in the freezer early on in the season. And what a night, all wild all the time. We'll see you next time somewhere in the deer hunting woods. Wild Bow Hunting is also proud to partner with these fine sponsors.